In today's video, we're going to use AI to generate a Python script for Dynamo for Revit and see how it works. We'll dissect where it breaks apart, figure out how to make it work, and kind of have a bit of a discussion. So in order to get started, let's jump into Revit 2023 and Dynamo for Revit. So by default, I am just in the sample model. It has a whole bunch of walls and things placed in it. Uh, for this interaction, we are going to use a Python script to delete all of the walls in the model. So I wanted to kind of go a little nuts and choose something really crazy to do just to see if ChatGPT would let us do this. The tool that we're using for this, once again, is called ChatGPT, and you've probably seen this on social media, on the internet, doing all sorts of crazy stuff. Generally speaking, you ask it a question. In my case, I told it to write me a Python script for Dynamo for Revit to delete all of the walls in my current Revit model. It will then generate some code for you or answer your question in a way and kind of tell you how to use it. So in this case, here's my Python script that it generated. It's telling me to use a filtered element collector to collect all of the walls in the document. It'll iterate through them, deleting each one tells you to run the script inside Dynamo once you have the Revit file opened. And then it says, please be aware that this script will delete all the walls, including structural and architectural. That's really cool because it is warning us that this is going to do a pretty big deletion on our Revit model. In this case, it also tells you to take a backup of your file before running any script that can delete elements from a model. This is awesome. This is probably the best part of the reply is telling you to back up your files before copy and pasting all of these things. Generally speaking on the forum, when we help people, we tell them the same thing. So it's really learned that quite well actually, which is pretty cool. Uh, so what we'll go ahead and do is copy this code. We'll jump back into Dynamo for Revit. Once again, our advanced model. I changed this to manual run mode because I don't want it just to fire off right away and we'll go ahead and place a Python script. In this case, it is defaulting to C Python because I am in Revit 23, so I'll switch it to Iron Python. In order to use Iron Python still, you have to install a package from the package manager. I'll include a link below on how to do that. And let's go ahead and paste our Python script in. So we'll go ahead and click Run, and we'll see what it does. This prompt is pretty interesting because it generates a Python script that actually works. The one problem it has is I wasn't very specific in the fact that I want to delete wall instances. This collector is actually collecting all walls, wall types, wall instances, all of that. So it won't let it run because stacked walls have to have one type at least. So we're going to hit cancel on that and take a look at our Revit model real quick. So in this case, it's getting all of the instances, but it's also getting all of our types under the families dialog, walls, and wall types. So we don't want to delete all the wall types from our model. So we do need to fix the Python script in one area to fix this. For a filtered element collector, if we search on API docs, so we'll just go to API docs.co. This is where you can view the Revit API. We'll look at filtered element collector and we'll see that we have a few options in here under the method. So under filtered elements, we want to look at the method. In this case, this is something I kind of know just from using Python and the Revit API, but there is a filter for the filtered element collector to dictate whether or not it is an element type or not. So in this case, we have an option in here where element is element type or element is not element type. So in the case of collecting all instances of walls, we want to use this portion of code as well. In Dynamo by default, if I were to freeze this node, we'll take a look real quick and collect all of my walls. We'll do all elements of category. This node's actually doing the where element is not element type for us because this is an instance collection of placed instances in our model. So we just need to mimic this by telling it to collect elements that are not element type. So in this case, where element is not element type to elements. This prompt is also pretty interesting to me because it did wrap it all in a transaction as well. I've seen quite a few prompts where you try to make a change to Revit with Dynamo and it doesn't know to use a transaction. 
Uh, it's generally been really good at collecting things, but for changes, it didn't know to use a transaction. This prompt did, which is crazy because it is a pretty scary prompt, if you will. So let's go ahead and save this Python script. We'll unfreeze our node. And for dramatic effects, we'll go ahead and line up our model this way and we'll go ahead and click run. And we'll see that it's chugging for a bit and all of our walls are gone from our model. So that's pretty interesting because it did work. It let us delete all those things pretty quickly and those walls are gone, uh, which is interesting uh, that that did work. Uh, other prompts that I've tried, I've tried a few things for hiding and things like that. I even retyped in this delete all of the walls in my current Revit model, and it gave me a method that included the not element type. The one difference here is it did use a PI Revit method of getting the current document. It didn't use the Dynamo method. So it is one of those things, if I were to copy this code and put this in here, it would actually error out because it's telling me that Revit is not defined, underscore Revit. That's how PI Revit does it. Dynamo doesn't know what the heck. So you would have to fix that document portion as well. Additionally, it is using a transaction, how they occur in the Revit API and not how they occur in Dynamo. So that's another thing as well uh, that would need to be considered. Uh, but with all that in mind, it does work for that portion. I think it's a pretty interesting tool. Uh, AI has a pretty big implication of uh, the way we're going to work in the future, I think. It's not perfect. We've had a few questions on the forum regarding the chat GPT uh, software, if you will, and if we can help troubleshoot a dynamo graph uh, that was generated. As you can see, this one has a long ways to go. Uh, it would probably work in PyRevit, I think, in this case, because it is adding all those references. So I think it did pull a PyRevit example, uh, but it isn't perfect by any means. The more things you type, the more specific you need to be as well. So I encourage anyone trying this, if you go through and you want to see if it's going to work, you need to prompt it and then go to apidocs.co and just verify that all those methods exist as well. ChatGPT has been interesting to where it will sometimes generate things that aren't even doable, which is kind of odd. It'll make up API, but some for some of these more generic things, it might start to prompt you in the right direction. In this case, it worked, which is interesting. So I'm going to keep playing with this software and follow it up. Let me know below if you've tried it, any prompts that you've tried that didn't work, send them to me and we'll kind of dissect them on a future video as well. Uh, so I hope that was interesting. Happy New Year to everyone. Welcome back and uh, we'll see you in the next video.